Let's go on to Drake May. So Drake May, while the other coaches coaches have just been gushing over their rookie quarterbacks, Gerard Mayo has been a little bit more blunt with it. He said, you know, he has a lot to work on. Um, he said he emphasized a lot to work on, but I have no doubt he'll put the time in. So Drake May, there are all the reports coming out. And even Patriots media has actually been, you know, less less adored. They're saying, yeah, he was fine. Like this is exactly what we thought he would be. He's someone who comes in and has all these physical tools to be the next Josh Allen type of player, hopefully. But right now, he's a project. You know, he 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 has great arm strength, but his accuracy is inconsistent at times. And, and so Drake May, I, I think he's exactly what the Patriots thought right now. Then no one's disappointed in anything, but they're just they're a little more upfront with, yeah, like this is a good quarterback, but they're building out time to sit Drake May. And Jacoby Brissett, I believe, is going to start is is going to start the season. I'd be surprised if we saw Drake May week one. Would you would you agree with that? We'll see. It's this strikes me as being a uh, out of the old Belichick book of I'm not going to praise the rookies no matter how good they do. Mm-hmm. When was the last time Belichick came out and said we love what this rookie's doing? He's awesome. <laughs> like that, that, this just isn't how it works in New England, right? And I know Mayo's his own coach, but there's some cultural continuity there. If you look at what the reporters are saying, as you say, um, people were a little bit more measured. But overall, people said a lot of the same things, right? He's spending time getting to the teammates. He's working on the book. He's showing up to compete. And I don't know. My opinion on Drake May, this has always put me as a little bit of an outsider, but I don't see what makes him such a project compared to a guy like Jaden Daniels or even Caleb Williams. I think Drake May is going to be ready to play. So whether he will, I don't know. You know, there's always politics there's always difficulty do we let the guy sit a little bit do we throw him out there right away you know there's rookies on the offensive line you've got to think about that yep but i think that drake may will be a serious contender for starting week one because i think he's the best quarterback on that roster and i think he'll be ready oh no i i do think he's he's the best quarterback on that I, what i mean is i think he will be the best quarterback week one and i think in the nfl especially when you're a new head coach if you have the best quarterback, you're not going to bench him. Sure, that's no, not how. It but, but I, I do think he, let's say it's extremely close and 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 leans in May's favor over Jacoby Brissett heading into Week One. If you're still not extremely, if you're still not confident that Drake May is mentally where he has to be to go out, and, if you're worried about the roster when you look up and down, again, it's Kendrick Bourne, Demario Douglas, Jalen Polk, KJ Osborne. Like this is not a team, and the Patriots know this is not an offense that's ready to explode. And sure, Drake May might give you the best chance to have a better offense going into week one. Like, and then that is sure that's enough of a reason to play him. But I can also see them saying, all right, let's let him continue to learn a little bit, sit behind Jacoby Brissett, who is an acceptable backup. Like he's an acceptable guy to go into the season with when you have no expectations, really, you're not going to get completely embarrassed with Jacoby Brissett, or at least so far in his career, that has not been the case where well, I actually think it's okay to look at Drake may and then say, okay, let's not throw a bunch of pressure on you immediately with the roster. That's not ready. Take your time, learn from a good veteran, and we're going to continue to build up this roster and get these other younger guys up to speed. So when you come in, perhaps later in the season, you know, you have, you're a little bit more confident. I can see that being the case. I wouldn't be disappointed. If I were a Patriots fan and they played Drake May week one, I'd be very excited. But I also think it's a fine move to, to rest him a little bit and let him learn under Jacoby. Rest is not the right word, but just, just don't put Joe Milton out there. Well, no, 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 don't. I mean, obviously, (laughs) that was the takeaway, though. That was the main takeaway from Patriots camp was that Joe Millen has a rocket of an arm. That's what that's like the thing. I mean, that can't be the takeaway from the camp. I mean, no, we knew Joe Milton. had. Oh, no, no. I'm saying that was like the impressive thing where people left going, holy crap, this guy can really sling it. No, I mean, there is only one player in history that's run harder than Joe Milton at the combine. And that's Josh Allen. Was it really? Yeah, in like in recent years, you know, they only started recording like throw velocity. It yeah, takes that we, tools yeah, yeah. a few years ago. But Joe Milton, he's only been outdone by Josh Allen. He is the strongest arm I've ever seen on a college quarterback. It's a, now yeah. he can't throw. He couldn't hit a bar with that arm. <laughs> but it's a how it's. Well, that's the whole thing with him. They said there's too much potential with with Joe Milton to not have selected him. Yeah, in the sixth round when you don't have a quarterback. Sure. I mean, you got Alex Van Pelton there. He was Aaron Rodgers' coach for a good number of years. He just came out of Cleveland. I know Deshaun Watson hasn't been exciting, but they've done a really good job developing quarterbacks in Cleveland the past few years. Yeah. So I think 
he's a good coach to have there. But I, I, again, I really like the direction that New England's treating this right now because first off, everyone was concerned whether or not they would actually take Drake May. And I think they made the right decision to do that because we, we say it more than maybe any show I've ever seen. Like you, you have to gab the quarterback first. Even though the roster's not there, you have to have the quarterback. And uh, again, Eberflus came out and you, what, do you, what do you say? No, no conversation, Caleb starting. Like now, Caleb, even if, if he's looking horrible in camp, you have to. You can't take start. that back. Yeah, he's starting week one. Like that's going to happen. And again, he should be fine. But if, if they came out and said, nope, Drake May's the starter. And for a guy who I know you said you don't think uh, that you think he's more ready than a lot of people. But for someone who a lot of people find inconsistencies with, if he's struggling and then you bench him and put in Brissett, now all of a sudden there's more talk. I, I like that this reserved approach of, okay, let's see if he's ready. And if he's lighting it up, like remember Russell Wilson with Seattle, if he's lighting it up in... in you, put, camp, you put him in. Yeah, then you're, of course they're going to play him. So I, I think it's yeah. a good approach to give this guy the time he needs. New England's in no rush at all. If New England's rushing things, that's a bigger problem no. with front office management. No, Durant. no, I mean, it's they just hired a... Elliot Wolf finally got the job. They yep. hired a first time coach. Inexplicably, they've got the lowest win total in the entire NFL for next year. I I think that's silly, but there's yeah. not a lot of pressure from the outside for them. So yeah, you just take care of business. You do what you have to do. You've got some goodwill. You accept that Boston fans are going to be big babies and you move on. 